Hey guys, it's me, the expert here today, and today we're doing What If Bell Was Iron Man. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath right now, but shout out to this guy who did the hacking thing to like... So guys, this is the explanation right now. He's explaining it, so shout out to you. You're welcome, but anyway, I'll get to it. <clears throat> start off Bell in a village and he was 10 this is 10 of course you know he was never the son of Zeus why am I saying this because I am but his hair was completely brown and his eyes were completely blue his father was a blacksmith his father's name was father's name was Mike. As Mike and Bell were Bell's dad and Bell and him Bell's dad and him were building like better weapons because they have a good reputation about making really incredible good swords. However, that all changed in the next three months. Before anyone knew it, the whole village was on fire. Everyone was being slaughtered and massacred. All, all the people that were trying to flee were captured by these bandits. When Bell, how shall I say this? When Bell was the only survivor after witnessing his father being killed in front of him, the bandits decided to use him to make him be, to make them better weapons because they didn't really want to kill Bell's dad, but he was holding a weapon, so they just shot him in the head with a bow. And for next probably two years, they abused Bell. Bell took the hits and everything, and they even bleached his hair. And they even changed the color, they didn't change the color of his eyes yet, but I'll get to that. As Bell was so tired, he went to sleep in his prison cell. And when he went to sleep, he dreamt of <clears throat> a little project as a kid that he showed his dad. It was a suit that could be automatic and be very useful. He said, Dad, Dad, look, I made this. As his, as his dad, this is a flashback. His dad's looking at the Blake blueprints, and they were incredible. But sadly, his dad was too busy, like, ordering more swords for more adventurers. So, the plan, Bell's plan was never built. However, this would probably be the beginning of the Mark One. As Bell begins scheming for the next two months, like like scheming like so much. As he does this, he completely memorized the blueprints for the Mark One. He he physically and mentally Im like imagined them in his head again. As the bandits one well, of the bandits got up from the seat. It begins opening the cell. Come here, kid. It's time for you to make more weapons for us. Ours are, our weapons are getting dull. As Bell was being grabbed by the bandit, as Bell was smiling but not showing it, as Bell was thrown right in front of a right in front of the black thing, like the black like the blacksmith area, or the forge. Sorry, guys, I'm burping so much. So, Bell did something incredible. Not wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, Bell decided to lock the door, and when they but the bandits tried to get in there, they couldn't get in there. But Bell made sure to reinforce the door with a lot of metal and a lot of materials, and so this gave Bell twelve hours. So this gave him enough time. As Bell begins working fast, he begins 
like making the whole suit. As he puts the last thing on, all he was missing was the power source. He had like five minutes left. He didn't know what to do. There was no power for this thing. Until Bell looked underneath the table and he found some type of looking plastic rod in a circular form. So Bell picked it up and Bell said, What is this? As a little spark ignited the this little thing, and it was the an arc reactor. You see, the previous guy was actually making a weapon to fight the guys, but they murdered him, the bandits did. As Bell begins putting the thing in, as the suit begins charging up, give me a minute guys, I gotta find the scene. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have the help with that. As Bell breaks out, as just just overcharges Bell's body, and Bell's like, "Come get me, motherfuckers!" Oh fuck! Do I now have the scene where he breaks down the door? Oh, that's stupid. Okay. As Bell breaks down the door and mooring out the guys, he looks at them, and they're just beginning to pull their swords out. They begin trying to stab Bell, but however, they can't get through Bell's armor, but they can get through the cracks. But however, Bell is not letting them do that. However, some of them were actually shooting bows at him, and they were deflecting like this. And this is when Bell said, oh, that that's cute. <laughs> that's one of the bandits? No. Of course, Bell made a missile. There you go. Okay, I'll get to it. As Bell begins scorching and murdering everyone in the damn stronghold, and ev as the whole place begins catching fire, as the whole, the whole stronghold, like the whole castle, I'm going to say it's a abandoned castle, was lit on fire, and it was burning to ash. And when Bell looked around himself, he decided to get out of there because the fire was spreading to him. So he begins opening up the latch on his right arm and he presses it. He begins flying up into the air. Of course, no Mark 1, he did make more improvements instead of Iron Man 1. But the same outcome happened. Bell begins flying out of there only to crash into the thing into some trees, destroying most of the armor. <coughs> As Bo Bean's moving off the helmet, like, <coughs> well, I guess that worked. Yeah. God damn it. As Bo begins getting out of the armor, or what's left of it, he's on the, he's leaning on a tree now. I can't let anyone get this. As Bell begins ripping off his sh like ripping a piece off of his shirt and wrapping his arm, because his arm is completely broken from the impact, because one of the armor pieces ripped off one of on the right side of Bell's arm, so it completely fractured it. Oh, I oh shoot, I forgot to mention they bleach Bell's hair to black, and that that will just stay there. He can never get the hair color back. Also, his eyes have turned a bright red color. Why? Because arc reactor. Because he has had his revenge. Anyway, I get to it. <sighs> that's the last one. If that's the last of the Mark One. Bell managed to scavenge all the Mark One pieces. As Bell turns around, and beginning to head out. He made a sleigh out of some sticks and some of his shirts that was... He ripped all of his shirt off just to make the clothing. As he begins going on a long journey for the next two weeks, he had to hunt some deer. 
and had to find water. It was a struggle, but it was all worth it. Bell returned to his home, only to see that all the houses were burnt to ash. Some of them still were there, but burnt down. <laughs> As Bell begins crying, I'm home, Dad. I'm home. As, and plus, Bell is fucking still 12. And he's gonna be meeting eyes when he's 15, so, yeah. As Bell begins going to the, be going to, like, going, like, going in what's left of his village, he finds one thing that's still intact. His dad's workshop. And Bill was actually working on something as he was there. He hid it in the ashes and he wondered if it's still there. Come on, where is it? Come on, where did I. Here it is! Bill picks it up. I found it! My experimental AI. And I guess Bell, because I, I should have mentioned that Bell had an AI, but he was never tested because his dad always was too busy. And Bell had like a, a vacuum tube computer that he made. As Bell begins like checking if it's all intact, and Bell like clutched onto it with his heart and just saying, at least I have something left in my home. But now that I'm at the workshop, I think it's time for a little upgrade for next, hmm, yeah, I'm going to say two years. Bell has been making a new home for himself. He's been ma he also made the Mark II armor. He made Tony Stark's house on a cliff where no one knew about. And for the next few, for, for those two years, Bell began integrating Jarvis with the household, making better designs, better tech, better technology. As Bell finally got done building his house, like, I'm gonna say this was in a year, and in the, in the, and now in that year, Bell was just making the mainframe for Jarvis. As Bell begins, like, trying his best, but he had one successful connection. As Jarvis said, sir, 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 as Bell's like, Jarvis, calibrate your, calibrate your, calibrating your sp speech, calibrate your speech system to the speakers. Calibr calibrating now, sir. Calibration complete. What can I do for you, Mr. Bell? As Bell begins jumping up and down to saying, yes, it's success. As Jarvis said, sir, who am I? As Bell says, well, I said your name. Your name's Jarvis. And Jarvis says, then, Jar what am I used for? What am I, what is my purpose? Bell says, your purpose is just like, your purpose is to help me. As Jarvis says, okay, sir. And we cut here. Why? Because I like this, guys. I'm ending it here. If you guys didn't like me ending it here, I am so sorry. But if you guys did enjoy, please, break that like button. And hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. But thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all in part two. And part two will be longer.